Welcome back everyone to Boomy World. I'm John Furrier, host of theCUBE. We got Savannah Peterson out on the ground in the show floor getting all the action from the partners and the players here at Boomy World who are making AI integration happen. Savannah, over to you. Thanks John, it's so great to be here in beautiful Denver, Colorado at Boomy World 2024. My name's Savannah Peterson, you're watching theCUBE and I'm very excited to be chatting with someone who leads research and strategy on the emerging tech side on the innovation team. I'm here with Michael, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Glad to be here. It's a great night, isn't it? I know we've got the DJ going right now. Yeah. I mean, I, I can already use people dancing. A lot of good energy in the Bimmy community. A lot of energy, and there should be too. We've got a lot of really exciting things happening, not only as announcements, but what we're doing practically for everybody on the planet right now. Casual statement to make. Casual statement. Can you, can you give us a couple of those exciting things? Yeah, well, I'm not going to steal too much thunder away from the big guy uh, when he comes on stage, but uh, what I will say is this. When it comes to artificial intelligence, I want people to really understand that Boomi's not only in the game, we're going to lead the game from where we're at. Talk to me about how you're going to do that. We're talking practical AI. Correct? Practical AI, yeah. So our strategy involves two different ways that we're going about it. One is AI in the platform, and one is using the platform to create good AI-related outcomes. That's where we're focused for practical AI today. Uh, it's an awesome set of stories. It's an awesome set of technology and capabilities. Yeah, we're excited about it. Can you give us some examples of how people are using practical AI at Boomi? Sure, so by now everybody knows about large language models. Probably everybody's used ChatGPT or some analog of ChatGPT. Um, but the model underneath ChatGPT can be an exposed in a useful way. And those models aren't really trained on data sets that are private. Right? Right. So it's important to be able to train those models safely and securely and accurately, and or to use those models safely, security, uh, securely and accurately with your own data. I bet some people are a little nervous about that. They are indeed. However, when you're talking about practical implementations of artificial intelligence, generative AI, this type of thing can be augmented with something called retrieval augmented generation. And so that's a mouthful. Let's talk about RAG. Yeah, let's talk about RAG. That's, so, that's how we go with it. So basically what, what RAG means is a way to use your own data to make the LLM hallucinate less, if at all. And if you have the right set of capabilities uh, within a platform to be able to make AI not only, um, well, less hallucinogenic, but actually grounded, and you can provide safety wrappers around everything. They need to be grounded as they are. Yeah, so the opposite of hallucination is right. grounded. So, and one, one aside on that, Bumi actually means ground or earth in Hindi. And so it really fits into the way our platform was, uh, you know, it's kind of conceived back in the day. What full circle ethos there, right? that's nice. Well, and it's funny you say that too, because that, full circle is really what we didn't intend for large language models to actually uh, be here, you know, 20 years after the founding of Boomi, yet here we are. And now more than ever, our platform with all of its capabilities actually make LLMs super useful, super practical, and businesses can actually put them into production like a couple of customers that are here today that have used Boomi to do so. You know, we're really at a juncture where it's a lot of hype versus actually making AI real. Love that you want to talk about practical AI. I know you've got some great customer stories that you're able to share. Can you give us a little taste of one of those? Sure can. So we have customers speaking about this here at Boomi World 24. Uh, but one of the things I'll say is everybody really would love it if chatbots didn't, well, I won't say it didn't suck. I just said it. So <laughs> You can say whatever you want. Fine. We want chatbots that don't suck. And um, actually we're at a point in history where we can make sure that chatbots are actually good, useful, and, and can serve people well. So one way that chatbots are useful is with data from your public website. So we have customers that are actually using RAG-based approaches to LLMs to incorporate their data. So the LLM doesn't hallucinate and customers no longer need to do keyword search lookups and that sort of thing or a chatbot has uh, an, an, an inadequate response to whatever the query is going to be. Now you can just talk in plain speak in your native language. NLP, to, baby, yeah. NLP, exactly. And uh, you can query in your natural language and get answers that you want. Have you ever had an experience with a chatbot that was positive? Um, yes, I have. 
<laughs> that, that you built that you didn't build. Oh, that, that I didn't build. Power. Well, okay. One that <laughs> you know, I have uh, a couple of buddies. Uh, there's a there's a gentleman on our team who built this amazing framework for making uh, interactive chatbots through voice commands. Oh, nice. And so uh, he interviews. He interviews one of the LLMs. Well, I decided to do this at a conference last week. So I run this AI conference in Philly. And uh, so we actually tailored that conversation around this particular chatbot in front of hundreds of people. Complete demo. It did everything. We asked it qu existential questions like. And there was no scary twist. So there, there was no scary <laughs> twist. People, people got a little bit concerned, but we gave the, we gave the large language model a voice. Sorry. Hey. We gave her. Uh, the ability to um, interact with the crowd. So they were able to ask questions in real time and she was able to respond. And she was a she because we gave her a voice and she identified as an entity that was more female. Anyway, so that That's was awesome. It was That's awesome. Great. So you're, to answer your question, the crowd loved it. They, they, they loved it. And yeah. we didn't get to, for her to name herself, but um, that was the that was the next step. Anyway, I've done that too. And it's it's pretty amazing. Anyway. That is not usually a production level use case that we would talk about in a business context, but you asked the question, have you ever had a chatbot that didn't suck? And she was awesome. How's that? That's a perfect example. Example is that. And then the customer that implemented the chatbot that they're now using on their website, it too does not suck. It's really good. So it's retrieving information about product that they have and giving that back to their customers and it's a super useful use case, not only for them or other companies within their industry, but it's a ubiquitous type of use case that anybody can apply. And by the time folks leave Boomi World, they're going to know that Boomi is able to help out with these types of use cases and many others. Sure, I love that. This, the energy in the room definitely reflects that. All of your partners are really delighted to be your partners. They all want to be your favorite partners. So everyone that I've talked to, you have eight, over 800 partners here, 20,000 customers. It's so that's amazing. What, it is amazing. And, and I bet, you know, so what does this week mean to you then? Yeah, so it's it's kind of a coming out party uh, of sorts. Like we are re, we've reinvented what it means to be iPaaS. Uh, we've reinvented, or we're about Absolutely. to we're about to create sort of a new the new era of what it means to have integration and automation. And so the next layer above that is orchestration and beyond. And so the idea is, if you're going to work with this awesome engine called a large language model generative AI, even discriminative AI, like our traditional machine learning, it is important to make sure you get the data to that particular model in the right pipelines. We provide all of that, all of the capability to be able to build those pipelines so that you can actually work with the LLM in a way that's meaningful to the business. And we're there. We are this orchestration framework, and that is why we're so different. And I'm not even looking at our legacy competition any longer. I'm totally uh, switching our gaze onto the future because that's what our customers are demanding. They don't want us to fight over table scraps of where we were. They want us to really focus on what the needs are in the future with this technology that's real. And if we can make it real for them now, they're going to become uh, fans overwhelming. So that that is what we're going for. Yeah, well, I, I think you're succeeding, at least from the folks that I've talked to. Any any goals, any partners you're particularly excited to catch up with this week? It's well, got to be like a family reunion. It, it, it really is. It's our first time here since 2019 yeah. with all of these partners. Times. The before times, yes, we for the word we shall not name, yeah. for the illness that we shall not talk about. Uh, but that said, I'm, I'm really excited to see all of our partners and customers that made the journey to be here. And even the ones that couldn't be here, they're just as excited. You see my bow tie, it's from Australia. I met with a ton of partners and a ton of customers down in Australia just a couple of weeks ago. Also Singapore and Malaysia. Shout out to APJ. Um, anyway, the I climate similar there? It, it is. These folks are hungry for this yeah. technology and, um, and to make it meaningful, useful, practical, and safe. Also responsible is also good. You know, speaking of responsibility, there's one other thing I want to wax poetic on. Please. Um, we are going to be making a couple of big announcements around responsibility. Um, and so we want to set really the stage for what's to come uh, with responsible use of AI going forward. When can we expect this now? Uh, that will be coming out in the next couple of days. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So actually, um, 
by tomorrow, we're going to actually tomorrow you'll hear more about me. Aiden Thompson, yeah. thanks for wetting our whistle, Michael. That's a bit of a tease. Last question for you, yeah. since we talked about AI, but you also look at a lot of emerging technologies given your role. What excites you the most about the future? What excites me most about the future is, in spite of all the hype, there's really, uh, I, I, I'm not positive when it comes to um, what we have for the future. I'm excited that we can look at this new alien technology and make it useful with a variety of different emerging domains in a variety of different industries. IoT can become real. Uh, yeah. a API management can become real. Like, yeah. like real new, real use cases that are going to be a governance layer that we've never had to have before that we can provide. Uh, I'm excited about IoT uh, in ways that I couldn't have been prior to these two types of AI, discriminative and uh, generative AI. And the fact that we can orchestrate all of that together is really exciting to me. So what I'm, what I'm really excited about though is the innovation that the customers are going to be able to do with platforms like ours. And so I'm really uh, excited to see how folks are gonna build the future. Yeah, and we're excited that, that you're able to help them power that future and also feel more confident in embarking on that journey with partners like you. Michael, thanks so much. It was Thank great. You. It was a pleasure. Practical AI, rags we're talking about, governance, we really covered all the bases, and bow ties, no less. Bow ties, too. I look forward to seeing what ties you bring to the rest of the conference. Uh, right. You will see plenty of bow ties. Good. It's all <laughs> good. good. I appreciate it. And thank all of you for tuning in wherever you are on a beautiful planet Earth today. We're here in Denver, Colorado at Boomi World 2021. My name is Savannah Peterson. You're watching theCUBE, the leading source for enterprise tech news. Yeah.